institutions have been piling the pressure on Hungary and Poland of late over concerns about rule of law in their country. And this week in Strasbourg, MEPs voted on a resolution calling on EU member states to crack the whip, i.e. use the Article 7 procedure that they have at their disposal. More details in today's brief from Brussels. In an unprecedented display of solidarity, judges from all around Europe took to the streets of Poland last Saturday, rejecting laws that endangered the independence of judges. A number of them decided to travel to Strasbourg this week to highlight their plight among EU lawmakers. The aim of uh, the so-called reforms is not uh, to really make the justice uh, working better. Uh, in fact, um, the, the reforms are um, highlighting or are, are targeting uh, the judges and they want to uh, make us more uh, dependent uh, to um, executive and uh, legislative powers. And that's, that's really uh, dangerous, in fact. Thank you for, for its part, the European Commission has piled the pressure on Poland and asked the European Court of Justice to order suspension of the current disciplinary system. MEPs from Poland's governing Law and Justice Party are not impressed. The idea that, uh, uh, that the European Commission intervenes in the legislative uh, uh, process of a member state country is just outrageous. But the EU is also concerned about rule of law in Hungary, where protests against the government have been becoming more frequent. Croatia, who holds the six-month EU presidency, promises to address this issue and the Article 7 procedure, but certain Hungarian MPs are not too faced. Welcome, hurra, Bring it down. Heureka, we have to make this happen as soon as possible. Deep down, the Hungarian government knows the EU Council will never get the majority to punish them. Poland will never vote against them and, of course, vice versa. So it's a tricky situation for the European Union. Magyarország és Lengyelország kitűnő példája annak, hogy hogyan tud darabjaira hullani az Európai Unió, hogyha nem figyelünk oda. And a tricky balancing act for the European Commission. Well, for her part, Vera Jourova, that's the EU Commissioner for Values, has promised to make sure that Article 7 mechanism is improved. For your news, I'm Maeve McMahon in Brussels.